Okay, hi again everyone, uh, Ivan here from BrainyBits.com. Today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, an HCSR04 uh, range, ultrasonic range sensor. Uh, basically what these guys do is that they act like a sonar, they send a, an ultrasonic ping and then it bounces off an object and then comes back and gets read and then it calculates the distance away from it. So these are really handy when you want to have a little project uh, that can calculate distance uh, to an object or something of the sort. These are really easy to use and easy to interface. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use a little breadboard here and make the connection to our Uno. And after we've done uh, the connections, we're going to go to uh, the code on our computer screen and we'll see how it all works. So let's get started. So I'm going to take the sensor. Let me move these little wires out of the way. And as you can see, there's four pins on these sensors. You have a, a, a trigger, an echo, a voltage, and a ground. So we'll use two digital pin plus a voltage and a ground from our Uno. So I'm going to connect this guy right here. Like so, as you can see here. So we've got our four pins. And I'm just gonna check the, okay, so the first pin is voltage, trigger, echo, ground. So we're gonna start with the voltage. So we're gonna go from voltage five volts from our Uno to the voltage pin on the sensor. And then we're gonna do the trigger pin, I believe. Yeah, trigger pin. So in our code, the trigger pin is gonna be on pin 12. So we're gonna go pin 12 right here to the trigger pin which is the second pin right here and then the echo is going to use pin 11 so I'm going to put pin 11 on this pin here and the only one we have left is our ground so I'm going to go ground from here and on our last pin right there so there we are all the connections have been done so now we're going to cut here, we're going to go to the computer screen and look at the code and then we're going to upload our code to our Uno and we'll see uh, the results in the serial monitor. So I'll see you soon. Welcome back. So here we are in the Arduino IDE. This is the code we're going to use. We're using a library called NewPing. You can find a link in the YouTube description or on our website. And we're including the library at the top right here. Uh, go ahead and download the, the file. Once you get the file, just extract it to your Arduino libraries folder. It's going to be in a new ping directory, and here it is. Once you've extracted it, just restart your Arduino IDE software. First thing we're going to do, we're going to define our pins. So here we go. Trigger pin is on 12. Uh, the echo pin of the sensor is on 11. And we're putting maximum distance of 200, which is in centimeters. Uh, these sensors are good up to about 400, 500 centimeters. But if you're not gonna, uh, if you don't need to calculate that distance uh, up to that point, then you you would use the maximum distance variable. Uh, then in the library, we're gonna set up the pins and maximum distance. So we do that by doing new ping, sonar, and then we put our values: trigger pin, echo pin, and max distance. Then we're going to do the setup of our serial monitor. And then we have our main loop right here. So the main loop, we're going to start with the delay for the number of pings per second. I'm going to change that here to 500, which will give us about two pings a second. And I'm just going to update the, uh, the comet here, wait 500 and about two pings a second. Uh, 29 milliseconds should be the shortest delay between pings for those sensors, meaning the, the number of times you can get the uh, values from it. Uh, then we're going to create a variable here to put our uh, ping value. And then we're going to serial print on our monitor. We're going to put ping, colon, and a space. And then we're going to print the value that uh, we're getting. So we're converting the ping time to distance with uh, that little equation here and at the end we're just going to put a centimeter just to tell the 
the code that this uh, this value is in the centimeters. So here we go. So we're gonna now compile our code by clicking verify. Uh, then we're in the meantime we're gonna plug in our Uno so it's ready to receive our code. So compiling is done, no errors. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, upload the code to our Uno by clicking upload. Yeah, the LEDs on the Uno is gonna start to flash. There we go. We're getting the code and it's ready to go. So we should be receiving values. We're gonna click the serial monitor box and uh, see what we get. And we're getting pings twice a second. I'm gonna put my hand in front of the sensor to change those values. And it went down a little bit, 35 now. I'm gonna bring my hand a little bit closer. And there we go, it's working fine. So hopefully this helps. These little sensors are very good, are very easy to use and uh, you can probably find a way to uh, integrate them in your projects. So once again, I'm Ivan and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.